So ladies and gentlemen, yeah. <laughs> um, I believe my application is complete. I'm not quite sure when I'm going to submit it because I've now written all my white space questions, which like the get to know you questions as such. I've uploaded my degree. Yeah. <laughs> It's, it's all there, it's, I um, can't believe it's done. <laughs> um, so as part of my kind of initial application, I had to do all my demographic stuff, such as like who I am, what's my telephone number, where do I live? I then had to go on to tell them where I studied, uh, so what medical school I'm at, I gave my reference and the reference, like referees, literally can you confirm that this person was a student, so it's not too much. Um, I then had to list every single poster and presentation that I've done, which I don't know why I'm sighing because the fact that I had a couple to put in was good. I put in prizes, I had to put in all my white space questions as well, I've had to say like disability wise, do I want reasonable adjustments for the SJT? Um, uh, and then uh, upload my undergraduate degree certificate. So I'm just having a look at my preferences now, and it's I I can I can play around this till February. So I've got a rough ranking, but that could change. So. My top rank is South Thames, so that's Kent and South London. Um, and then I've got Peninsula, which is Devon and Cornwall. I then got East Anglia, maybe. This is this is where the, the list is gonna like jump around a bit. So East Anglia, West Midlands South, and um, White Laws as my top five. I then go down to West Midlands Central Seven and Wessex. Scotland and Essex, Bedfordshire and Hampshire. As I said, like my top five are like the ones that I've really paid attention to. I've I've got a while to sort out the top ten, so that hasn't been too much of a I need to get this done now thing. Yeah, <laughs> there is a big button here that's like um, confirm submit application, and I just I'm just not ready to click it yet because I just I just get the feeling that I've missed something out, but it's all done. This is been the most stressful week ever so this week i've had quite a busy timetable create a oral presentation to present the conference present a poster two posters and a presentation at a conference i've had to keep up with my actual degree um i've done a full day in surgery i've had i've had a mock interview uh, I've done an Osler, I've done, it's just been an insane week and like this, this was the block I ideally needed to have psych in so I had time to really sit down and think about everything. I also decided to go in for voluntary teaching today and um, Saturday dermatology clinics so huh, that was helpful. Yeah so it, 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 it's been mad and I've I don't know how I've got through it, but um, we've got that. Um, so tomorrow I am doing my reflection for my block. I will probably click that send button. Um, whenever I click it, I will record it um, so I can put it into this blog. And I will have to do some marking for a committee that I'm in because we've got a prize and I've got to do it on one day. <laughs> Yeah, fourth year. <laughs> Welcome to final year medical school. Um, and then what I've just realised is that the week after next, I can book for my SJT, which is the other 50% of the school that everyone judges you on. The average for Warwick is somewhere between 78 and 82, which gives me an okay standing. It's not amazing, but... I have to work with what I've got. If I can get above average for Warwick in the SJT, then I should be able to push it up to about 84. Um, I'm going to leave the application for a bit and probably click submit tomorrow because I'm just not in the state of mind to do it today. Yeah, leave it 24 hours, click submit, get on with the rest of my life. <laughs> I'll see you then. <laughs>
Hey guys, so it's officially the day after yesterday, so Sunday, and I've given myself the time to sleep on my application and now I'm going to submit it. But first, I'm gonna pause the video because I just want to have a nice long read through it all, just make sure it's completely okay. And then I'll hit record from the end. <laughs> this is exciting. So I've managed to have a read through of my application, make sure everything's there that I need it to be. And that we come to it. <laughs> I don't know why pressing a button feels so overwhelming. <laughs> I just, oh. I've got to do it because I've <laughs> so Okay, so I confirm that I've reviewed the content. Yes. Oh god. <laughs> Light up green. <laughs> Here we go. Of this. <laughs> and that is it folks, I have officially applied to become a doctor in 2022. Yeah, that's... <laughs> that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so I'll I can um, go back to my applications. Oh, I can't believe I've done that. <laughs> it's all submitted. <laughs> um, this week has been really stressful. I've had a lot on. I've had a lot on academically, and then I've had this on the side, and it's just been, you know, when you just really want a quiet week to focus on one thing, and suddenly everything and anything comes at you. Um, flurry of emails from Oreo. online but it, it just feels weird um so they've sent emails to like confirm that our application's gone through and i've got to do some extra bits for special found um yeah specialized foundation program and so i've got to do stuff for them but all the emails start with um d dr tut <laughs> Which looks really cool, and I'm like, it's so premature, but dear Dr. Tut. I have cough. That'll be a pretty cool thing. Yeah. So that's it, guys. I have officially applied for my first ever doctor job. I do have to now rank some of my special foundation programs. Um, and yeah, guess we'll go from there. Be sure to like and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next vlog with updates. I don't know when that's going to be because everything sort of depending on if I get interviews, if I even get past the shortlisting stage, but we'll just keep our fingers crossed and go from there. So. That was my Oreo application and now we just have to wait. See you in the next vlog. Bye!